Back here in Washington, New York Republican George Santos is lashing out at his fellow House members ahead of this Friday vote to expel him from Congress. Santos is also facing nearly two dozen federal charges, including stealing money from donors and using campaign contributions for things like Botox. CBS's Scott McFarland spoke to the embattled congressman to ask if he's considering resigning yet. I'm not trying to be arrogant or On the spiteful, eve of a vote to expel or, embattled New York Republican you know, George Santos, his me, colleagues blistered him. To know. George Santos has built his persona, his personal and political life on a foundation of lies. But Santos refuses to go quietly. Uh, Are you reconsidering point. resigning no, ahead I'm of this not, to no. avoid any spectacles? Swarmed at a news conference outside the Capitol, Santos argued he's the victim of political bullying. It's all theater. It's theater for the cameras. It's theater for the microphones. But it's some of his fellow Republicans leading the charge to boot him. He's not running for re-election. Why not just let him finish his term? Yeah, we are to govern ourselves, and he has manufactured an entire persona to defraud voters of the honest choice uh, to have a representative. Santos has pleaded not guilty to federal fraud and conspiracy charges, accused of fleecing his donors using their credit cards on more than $40,000 of purchases. And a damning House Ethics Committee review found he also allegedly used campaign cash for Botox, resort trips, and rent. Santos refused again today to comment on those allegations, but said his expulsion would inflame an already gridlocked Congress. Oh, it's going to be a circus moving forward. Leaders of both parties say they won't twist political arms. Are you urging your fellow Democrats to vote one way or another tomorrow? Uh, we recognize that this is an issue of conscience. Nora Santos would be only the sixth person ever to be expelled from the U.S. House, but for that to happen, it's not a majority, but two-thirds of those voting who'd have to vote to do so. It's unclear, Nora, how many votes will show up on a Friday, but supporters of this measure say they're confident they have the votes. All right, we'll be watching. Scott McFarland, thank you so much.